loving life or your love life? Let's talk about the gay dating scene in West Hollywood. It's Mikey G6. This is my 13th video. And thanks for getting me to 3,000 minutes watching my first 30 days. It's been, it's been great talking with you and thanks for all the suggestions for topics. Someone DM me on Instagram, it goes down in my DMs, and asked me about my dating scene in LA. So let's talk about it and now you should probably be over 18 to be watching this video. Like my name, G6, I'm going to divide this video into 6 points. And be sure to follow me and DM me on Instagram at MikeyG6 and subscribe to this YouTube channel and like and comment to this video. Number one, first things first. In order to date in LA, you must have an Instagram. Now, don't get caught up in filtering, face tuning your page. Your page should and could be an honest representation of yourself, but it's very necessary to have Instagram. People you've never met will connect and follow you with digitally, but tying this to dating in LA, when you meet people, they will ask for your IG, even before asking you for your phone number. Now don't worry about Facebook or Snapchat, but Instagram is a must. Number two, so you've heard the phrase, two's a company and three's a crowd. Where do open relationships factor in? Picture this, you're at a bar or even the mall or the Grove, whatever. There's a shopping center in LA and you start a conversation with someone and you two exchange contacts. So once you and this person have started talking, you want to specifically ask, are you single? Because they may not be. And if you choose to spend time with them, I'm just letting you know that in the gay scene here in LA, open relationships are not unusual. Number three, the third date rule. If you watch a romantic comedy movie with a guy or girl, the girl usually says to wait until the third day to have sex. If a person, regardless of gender, wastes one, three, six, or more dates, that's up to them. But in this town, in a male-to-male -male relationship, you should be true to your own convictions because that movie advice of waiting until a third date is not the usual timeline. And whether it's sooner or later for you, that's fine. Just know that you want to be true to that. Here, sex comes first and then talk later. Number four, hashtag body goals. Good looks and what's attractive is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm gonna encourage you to look a certain way, but I will say that a common place to meet people is at the gym. It can be on a neighboring machine like a treadmill or even a class or even in the parking lot. You're probably good looking the way you are, but just know that being active with your gym membership may activate your dating life. Sad but true, body comes first, and in WeHo, what can I say? Number five, feeling philanthropy? It's great to donate your time to a good cause. I know two couples, both male to male, that have met while volunteering. Find an organization that you're passionate about. It can be LGBT film preservation or youth-based services. And look on the website and see when they have volunteer orientation. If there's a program that clicks with you, you never know whom you might click with while you're there. Or you can just meet on Grindr like everybody else. Number six, making it official. If you watch early 2000s straight TV shows like Sex and the City or The Hills, there was almost always drama about the guy and girl getting together. And when it would happen, or if it was too soon, or it was taking too long, in gay relationships in WeHo, this test was way fast. It's not uncommon for two people to save their boyfriends within the first 10 days or less of meeting. I'm not judging, nor am I saying this is wrong or right, when you picture things like a walk to remember, you may want to watch it and fast forward and get an idea of the speed of things here. I know of couples that get together one week, move in together the second week, and break up the third week. That's the way it works here. So those are six of my thoughts about the gay dating scene in WeHo. Thanks again for the DM asking me this question, and follow me on Instagram at MikeyG6. You can interact with me on this video, and make sure to follow, comment, like, and subscribe. And you can even watch this video on your next Netflix and chill.